Every year, from winter to summer, the ocean around Antarctica freezes and thaws in one of the largest seasonal cycles on Earth. Thanks to satellite imagery, we have near-complete data of Antarctic sea ice since 1978. But before this time, we rely on much less complete historical records. One such record comes from the science expedition on the RV Belgica. When this expedition set off to Antarctica from Belgium in 1897, it was completely unknown whether the South Pole was in a continent or an ocean of ice. Across the Atlantic Ocean, down the coast of South America, heading south for uncharted territory, Antarctica. The sea ice animation you can see is from 1982. That's the maximum sea ice we have recorded for where the Belgica was heading in the summer of 1898. The Bellingshausen Sea. Convinced they could push through the pack ice, the expedition sailed on. But in early March, the ice closed and the Belgica was trapped. As shown here by the ship in white, now frozen in snow and ice. The ship was stuck fast and her crew became the first to endure a winter south of the Antarctic Circle. During two months of polar darkness, the temperature dropping to minus 43 degrees Celsius. Imprisoned for more than a year, the ship drifted erratically with the pack ice for over 2,000 kilometres. This is the captain's meticulous map. Still stuck in two metre thick ice in January 1899, the crew were desperate to avoid being trapped for another year. Amazingly, they cut a channel through the ice and used explosives to open an escape route. Thirteen months after their entrapment, the ship was finally freed in March 1899 and headed for home. Sea ice data from 1982 shows conditions that seem almost as extreme as those described by the Belgica, perhaps trapping the ship for 10 months from April to February. Let's rewind now to the start of 1898 again, and this time show sea ice data from 2023, the lowest year on record. Note the entrapped ship turning white in March, but this year, the sea ice doesn't approach 100% coverage at its position until June. Over winter, the sea ice is still quite thick in this region until December, when it rapidly starts to thin. If the Belgica and her crew had been exploring the Bellingshausen Sea in 2023, the ship could have escaped by the start of January, having been trapped for only six months instead of more than a year. It's hard to draw conclusions about the climate of 125 years ago with limited data, but it certainly illustrates how different conditions in 1898 were to those of today's warmer world. In particular, the record low sea ice coverage of 2023.